What's the matter, George? Sure had a tough time today. I don't know. Got to get in condition. The conference meets only a month away. I'm going to need hey, you George, to talk. You think you'll live? Cut it out. I can't help it if I'm tired out once in a while. <laughs> once in a while, he says. Did you ever try going to bed at night? I don't need as much sleep as you guys. Look at Edison, only four hours sleep a night. Just because you can turn on a light doesn't mean you're another Edison. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, uh, I'll see you down. See you tomorrow. Hey, so long, Edison. Seriously, George, it's not only your running. See how dead you've been in class. Sue and the girls are talking about it, too. Oh, not Sue. Yes, Sue. And you know why. I haven't got time to waste sleeping. Too many other things to do. That's just the point. If you don't get enough sleep, you won't have the pep to do other things. Now, look, Professor, I guess I know what's good. Hi, Coach. Hi, Tom. George. I was just leaving. Oh, wait for me, will you, Tom? Yeah, stick around, Tom. You're George's pal. Say, uh, George, I've just been checking over your medical records. A doc gives you a clean bill of health. So what's wrong? You don't smoke. What about coffee? No. Well, uh, haven't you been eating right? Oh, it's just that I'm tired out all the time, I guess. Mm, how much sleep do you get? About mm, five or six hours a night. <laughs> well, you need more than that, don't you? We're going to need you in top form. Now, don't start that again. I told you... <laughs> hey, take it easy. Here's a chance for you to get some of that rest you need. Sit down. Relax. No, oh, Coach, I sit all day and all night studying. That's not resting. Oh, well, maybe not. But the running you do, that should provide relaxation. Relaxation? That's what tires me out. How about it, Tom? Do you feel tired? Sure, but I still feel good. After sitting in class all day, I get a lift out of running. Well, that's the way it should be. A change like that can be restful. Doesn't work that way for me. <laughs> Works for your father. Uh -huh. You know, I bowl with your dad every week. He has a great time. Well, I bet I can draw a picture of your home. Dinner's over, and your father has made himself comfortable in his easy chair. But now he's going out to bowl. You see, he spends most of his day at the office sitting. He's ready for a change in the evening. Some exercise. I get the idea. Sis is a sales girl, on her feet all day. So for her, it's a restful change to sit and read. But what sort of a change do you get? There you are, George, tired out. And when you're so tired, how much studying do you really do? But, Coach, I have to study if I want to keep eligible. How do you work that, Tom? Me? I just have a set period for studying in the evening. When the time's up, I stop. Stop? Sure. I'm usually through anyway. Honest, George. But if you'd get enough rest, you'd be able to do your studying in half the time. And do it better, too. Then you'd have plenty of time left for sleep and the other things you want to do. And you'd be able to stay awake at parties. Tell them about last Saturday night. Saturday night? You know what happened. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had some of the gang over. It was a nice little party, I guess. At least everybody had a good time. Everybody but me. And Sue. Yeah, Sue didn't have much fun either. She told me yesterday. She's still plenty sore. And why not? She's full of pep. She doesn't have to waste her time with... someone like me. Say, I'll bet Sue gets a lot of sleep and rest. What do you think, Coach? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I could use more sleep. Well, but, Coach, I tried it once. One time I got to bed real early. But I just couldn't get to sleep. Gotta get to sleep. History. English. Oh, I can't get anywhere with it anyway. What'll I do? I'll be called on for sure. 
No, I've got to get to sleep. Can't sleep. Can't sleep. Can't sleep. Oh, no. Never get to sleep. Might as well try to study. Let's see now. Tariff. Protective tariff. Fish. Super cool. Trade. Sleep is a wonderful thing, George. When you sleep, your whole body is taking it easy. Even your breathing and your heartbeat are slower, easier. Sleep. Brother, that next morning. Ooh, I never felt worse. I was still worn out, and I stayed worn out all day. So you see, that's no good. And you didn't try it again. What was the use? Well, then there's your trouble. You have to try it again and again until it becomes a habit. Oh, it may not be easy the first few times. But once you're in the habit of going to bed on time and going right to sleep, well, you'll find it much easier. Am I right, Tom? I never have any trouble sleeping. But, Coach, what can I do to get you to sleep? Right away, I mean. There's some things you can try. You should be tired, but not too tired. Your day should include a variety of activities, and preferably some exercise late in the afternoon. Then a warm bath, warm, not hot, may help you relax. And perhaps help you forget any worries that might keep you awake, including the conference meet coming up. You know, I've got a hunch we're going to do all right. So long, boys. See you tomorrow, Coach. So long, Coach. Thanks. <sighs> there. Ventilation. Room shouldn't be too warm. Slept pretty well last night. Better than the first few nights. Maybe I am getting in the habit. Pretty good, eight hours again. Better relax a little. <sighs> Room quiet. Wait a minute. Did I get all my studying done? I can't worry now. Time to sleep. I'll be fresher in the morning. Let go now. Relax. Take it easy. Hey, time to get up already? I must have slept like a top. Feel pretty good, too. A few more nights like that, and I'll really be in condition. Say, what's got into you? What's the hurry? Somebody waiting for me. Not Sue. <laughs> Who else? Hey, is it true she got you to work on the spring play? Uh-huh, I'm trying out for it right after the conference meet. Say, how can you do so many things? <laughs> it's a trade secret. But I'll give you a little hint. I'm, uh, not another Thomas Edison. Huh? Oh, I know. You've quit studying. Well, look for another man now. Ask him. Don't worry. He's eligible with plenty to spare now. Boy, George, you sure set a pace today. Am I tired? How about you? Tired? Who, me? Mm -hmm.